welcome back to Failing It Live with me, Banjo Jen. Well, we'd have a go at Cripple Creek tonight. Great tune, Cripple Creek. It is a little bit um, like the Oasis uh, Wonderwall kind of, you know, of open mic nights. Uh, Cripple Creek is kind of, I guess, that equivalent of old time tunes. Um, however, uh, it's such a cool one to play, and I remember really wanting to learn it when I was starting out. That was sort of my goal, you know, once I'd got my hands sort of knowing what they were doing. The first thing I really, really wanted to do was get. Uh, a little version of Cripple Creek that I was happy with um, and, and it is a cool one to be able to kind of just play and feel like you've really achieved something so we're going to go through that so it's a bit of a grim dreary night tonight and I thought Cripple Creek would would uh, definitely cheer it up a little bit along with some beer I'm having a beer tonight um, beer has been helping me through this pandemic I don't know about you guys um, I've been trying to have a bit of a local um, be a sort of uh, run you know using the local off licenses and breweries and stuff this one isn't so local this is down uh, in bristol down south in england um but it's called want to go to the sun which is quite appropriate because like i say it's a bit dreary tonight so um yeah cheers everybody it's very nice do you recommend uh, a beer when you're playing the banjo not that it will help you play in in any way shape or form but it will help with the frustration so when you're getting annoyed Always good to have a little beer on hand when you're trying to learn the banjo or just trying to tune a banjo or play a banjo. Anything to do with banjo, beer helps, <laughs> basically. Right, let's break Cripple Creek down. I'm not going to do tabs um, like I think I mentioned before. I don't use tabs. Um, so I'll just try and go through this with you in the way that I sort of learnt it and I play it. Um, hopefully it'll help you a little bit, but by all means, you know, look around and, and find like different versions of it different teachers will teach it in a different way there's there's so many versions of every tune you know there's so many variations um everyone will play it slightly differently i want you to just play around with it get a feel for it and see what you come up with you know you might have slight variations on on what i would do so those things we used last time hammer on uh, slides and pull-offs are all in cripple creek um so we're going to start with a slide and we're going to go on that first string, second fret, and we're going to slide it up to the fifth fret. Okay, so first string, second fret to fifth fret. And that's our first bit. Then we do the strum thumb. Okay, so remember this hand is still going to do its bum ditty. Bum ditty, bum ditty. All this hand is doing is hitting that first string as the first part of the bum ditty. Bum ditty. But this hand, as it's striking that first string, is going to fret the second. Um, on sorry, on the second fret, first string, and it's going to slide it up to that fifth fret. So slide, strum thumb, slide, strum thumb. So that's your first bit. Then we're going to do a pull off, which we learnt last time. So sticking on that first string for your next strike, strum thumb, you're going to do a strike and then pull off that first string that you're holding at the fifth fret currently. So you're going to do a strike, pull it off, strum thumb. Strike, pull off, strum thumb. Okay. So that's your first little phrase. You've got a slide, strum thumb, pull off, strum thumb. Slide, strum thumb, pull off, strum thumb. So this hand is just doing its bum ditty, bum ditty, both times on that first string. Slide, strum thumb, pull off, strum thumb. Slide, strum thumb, pull off, strum thumb. Okay, that's the first section. Now that might take you a little bit to get your head round, so just do that bit for a little while. Then we're going to go up to the C chord, okay? So you know your C shape. So we've done a dun, 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 d
and you're just going to do a normal bum ditty, nothing fancy, but you're going to hit that second string because that will make the sort of note that you want to hear. So second string, strum thumb. Simple as that. Okay, so we've got a slide, strum thumb pull off, strum thumb second string, and then finally, what I do for this one, you can either strike the, the, the first string or you can do a pull off with that ring finger. So where you are in your C shape chord, if you pull off that ring finger, you're going to get that first string ringing out free. Okay, so as you let go of your C chord, you can kind of pull off that ring finger to, to make the note. So in your C chord, you've got your second string, strum thumb, then I'd do a pull off strum thumb. So I'm just using my ring finger to kind of do a note, strum thumb. Now that might confuse this hand a little bit because this hand's been used to always striking that first note, okay? So if you want to do a strike on the note, just lift your C chord off and strike that first string again. That might be a bit easier. So when you go up to the C, you're doing your second string, strum thumb, and then let go, and then a first string, strum thumb. Okay, I was giving you the option of putting the pull off in if you want to try that, but the simpler way is just C chord, second string, strum thumb, let go, first string, strum thumb. Okay. So maybe do that for now rather than putting that pull off in. If you're feeling a bit more advanced, start to play around with the pull off. So let's put that together. We've got a slide, strum thumb, pull off, strum thumb, C, strum thumb, back to G, strum thumb. Okay, slide, strum thumb, pull off, strum thumb, C, G. So in the C and the G, it's just a normal strike, strum, thumb. I'm not doing anything with this left hand apart from C chord, lifting it off for the G chord. Second string in the C, first string in the G. Okay. That's your first little bit done, okay? That might take a while, practice that, get that bit um, feeling good. The next bit we're going to do is we're going to come up to this third string and we're going to do kind of another slide, remember that one we did last time? Second to the fourth fret. Just have a practice at that. So third string, second string up to the fourth fret. Okay, so we're going to do one of those, strum thumb, and then we're going to do a pull off, same string, same fret, second fret, but we're just going to strike and pull off, strum thumb. So that is a slide, strum thumb, pull off, strum thumb. So we're going back to that second fret after the slide. Slide up, strum thumb, back to the second fret to do your strike, pull it off, strum thumb. Slide up, strum thumb, fret it, pull it off, strum thumb. Just try that on its own. practice that a little bit because that's something that's a groove that you're going to use quite a lot in uh, in a few things but particularly in this cripple creek okay and then we're going to come to this bass string and we're going to do a hammer on so we're using all those techniques in this uh, this tune this is why it's a good one to follow on from the last lesson so bass string we're going to do a strike and then a hammer on. Finish with the strum thumb. And we're just finishing it off with that third string, just doing a normal bum ditty. Strikes, uh, strum thumb. 
okay so that second part is a side strum thumb pull off strum thumb hammer on finish slide pull off hammer on finish yeah slide in the third string pulling off the third string hammer on the bass string third string with nothing okay and there you have the first kind of part of cripple creek okay you might hear um uh, fiddle players and old time musicians um talking about a and b parts um quite often in tunes uh i'm not sure why to be honest um you can find out why but they call them a and b parts um and so this is like the a part of cripple creek so if we go back to what we know we've got the right back to the beginning slide strum thumb slide strum thumb pull off strum thumb c g slide pull off hammer on finish and we repeat that slide goes through two times okay the good news is the B part is very very similar to what you've just done we don't do that slide up to the fifth uh, fret in this part well, but we are going to repeat this sliding on the third string it does that quite a lot um, so it's going to be a, just what you did before Slide, dun, 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 dun. and then you're going to repeat it dun, 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 dun. so that is going to be a slide back to the second fret to, fret to strike it and pull it off dun, 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 dun. slide again dun, dun, dun then just take your hand away and just hit your first string open slide pull off slide first string so all that first bit is on the third string sliding it pressing it and pulling it off sliding it again and then up to your first string so third pull off third first dun, 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 dun. It's going to be the slide again. Dun, 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 dun. I told you you'd be doing that a lot. And then we're going to do that hammer on that we do on the bass string. So that's all, all that is is a strike, hammer on, strum thumb, and then finish it off with no fingers and just your third string, just a normal bum ditty, strike, strum thumb. Okay. To finish it off so that whole little lot is going to be a slide pull off slide up to your first string slide pull off hammer on so that end bit is like the end of the first a section so we're doing a lot of sliding about and then that hammer on to sort of finish it off <laughs> So they're quite they're quite similar um well th this way of playing it anyway like i say there's loads of variations and you'll see people putting all kinds of fancy stuff in different bits in um but th i think this is a really kind of nice um groovy way to play it there's lots of slides and you can just kind of get into that <laughs> sort of once you've got that sort of pattern going and you're in the groove of it it's quite easy it'll take a long time though just to get 
into the groove of that. Um, this is, you know, we're now getting to the stage where we're putting all those techniques in practice. And so the brain's got to do a lot of work with this hand. This hand, again, is just doing its machine thing. This is just doing the bum ditty, okay? It's not doing anything fancy, this hand. But this hand is now putting in a lot of work um, to get those nice little flourishes in there. So let's go from the beginning, okay? We've got the slide up to the fifth fret, then strike it and pull it off, then go to your C shape, second string, lift it off and go to your first string, and then do that slide on the third, third, back to the second fret, pull it off, hammer on the bass, and then the middle with nothing. string pull off a string third string and then you've got the B part which goes uh, that slide again on the third string slide pull off slide up to your first string open repeat that slide pull off but then do a hammer on the bass Finish it just with that middle string. Slide, pull off, slide, first string open, slide, pull off, hammer on, finish, slide, pull off, slide, open, slide, pull off, hammer on, finish. Okay, so putting that together, let's do the A part into the B part, okay? So we've got two, three, four, slide, C, G, slide, pull off, hammer on, finish, and again, slide, pull off, C shape, G shape, slide, pull off, hammer on, finish, slide on the third, B part. your A part and your B part together and what I would say is just practice 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 it's gonna get a bit fiddly at first when you're trying to do it and um, that's kind of how I usually would play Cripple Creek I don't really put much else in other than that and um, once you, you've got that and you kind of um, quite comfortable with that it might be that you sometimes I was putting the hammer on each time on that bass string to finish the phrasing and that is nice like the, the, that's cool but you can throw in a quick D chord instead if you want to so if you're varying it a little bit um, every time I'm sort of finishing the phrase just before you come back to that um, sort of G is your last uh, chord there's a quick D and we're not actually making the D shape because we're just doing um, a hammer on on the D string instead and we're just kind of leaving the other strings open but you can throw in a quick D chord so for instance to finish off um, the song I might sometimes do that so I might do a slide whoops slide pull off slide Instead of a hammer on G, D chord G. Yeah, so there's there's different ways. Sometimes with the that that slide up to the fifth, um, I've been playing it because Cripple Creek is a song, you know, so you can sing along to it as well. So it's kind of I've got a girl head of the creek going up to see her about three times a week. Kiss her on the lips as sweet as any wine. Wrap my arms around her like sweet potato vine. Going up to Cripple Creek, going in a run. Going up to Cripple Creek to have a little fun. Going up to Cripple Creek, going in a world. Going up to Cripple Creek to see my girl. Okay, so I'm kind of playing the tune as the, the song goes. Um, but if I was playing it without singing, sometimes on that um, A part, I might do the slide up to the fifth each time. So I might go... <laughs> I 
might put a D chord in instead of the hammer on. So that might vary it up again, you know. Um, so you might do like a singing verse, you might do a verse like we learnt first, you might then put another singing verse and then you might finish it with a more flourishy verse where you're doing that slide each time you know and putting in more of them this is where you can just play around with it once you get a bit more confident with it at first that's going to be quite quite difficult but over time you know I, I've just kind of played around with it a little bit as I've as I've become more sort of confident with what my hands are doing um, and then you know you might if you're just singing it you might you might not put all those sort of slides and um, and stuff in. You might just do quite a basic G chord, that quick C chord, back to G, and then a quick D chord before the end. So, you know, it might be more like, I've got a girl with a head on three, going out to see her about three times a week. Kiss her on the lips as sweet as any wine, wrap my arms around her like a sweet potato vine. You know, and it might just be that you do chord shapes for one verse, and then, you know, you stop singing and you do it. <laughs> fancy thing that we've just been practicing so play around with it a little bit um, I'll go through it one more time the way that I was doing it and then I will leave you to, to just play around with it uh, and, and kind of build it up it will take time it, you know just be patient with it have some beer this helps this helps yeah maybe <laughs> um, so we'll go through that a part again so you've got your slide up to your fifth, then strike it and pull it off, C, open it up, slide on the third, pull it off, hammer on the bass, finish it on the third, slide, pull off, C, G, slide, pull off, hammer on. Okay, that's your A part, and your B part, remember, is back to that slide on the third string, together it how you want to uh, I sometimes do a <laughs> and that's just a um, fifth uh, fret first string and I've never broken this down before <laughs> I'm doing like a strike, strum thumb, and then I go to the second fret. D chord, G. So it's just a quick D chord, and then back up to the G, but with my finger on um, that fifth fret again on the first string. So it's kind of fifth fret, first string, second fret, first string. D chord, G. a daft little finish I've never really thought about how how I do that before but again this is where you you'll just sort of like start to put your own little flourishes into stuff um, when you're a bit more confident but hopefully that has given you a little basic version um, well not so basic but as in you know um, uh, a straightforward ish version that you can follow and then you can decide if you want to put anything extra in or you want to play it um, a different way or whatever like say listen to other people play it there's so many variations um look up the words and sing along you know um going up to cripple creek going in a run going up to cripple creek to have a little fun going up to cripple creek going in a world going up to cripple creek to see my girl again there's loads of different variations of the words as well that's just one that i uh, i've heard and i sing quite often so there you go uh hope that you get along with that all right and um yeah gives you plenty to practice for now and i will see you next time all right cheers bye